Thomas, I've got to start with the impeachment. I believe we'll see the ceremony uh, today of the impeachment team as selected by Speaker Pelosi. And they make that famous walk. I guess there's a British equivalent across the rotunda. They don't go into the, the Lords don't go into the House of Commons, whatever they do in London, but they're going to transfer the documents over to the Senate. What will that signal for the former president? Well, it could signal the beginning of the end of his career in politics if, in fact, he would be convicted. However, I think that that is very unlikely. Mitch McConnell has reportedly said privately that he wants Trump gone. But I think that the odds of that happening are very, very low. GOP senators, many of them will be up for re-election in 2022 in the midterms, and a vote against Trump will not help them with a sizable block yeah. of the GOP voting base. Um, you know, for a while, we've heard reports that there were whispers in the hallways of Capitol Hill uh, that Republicans would uh, turn on Trump or that privately they don't like him. But saying that privately and doing it publicly are two totally different things. And I think we have to look at the track record here. And the track record is just that Republicans, when the stakes are really high, yeah. have Donald Trump back. 